So to get us started, we'll pass it off to Natasha first, and um, you can feel free, like I said, to share your screen and tell us about yourself and Family Forum. All right, thank you. My name is Natasha Schmid. I'm the HR Director for Family Forum. And Family Forum is a uh, single purpose agency, but we started in 1967 as the grantee for the Head Start program. And uh, we operated at that time underneath a community action agency. And since then, since 1980, that's when we branched off to the single purpose agency and became our own 501c3 nonprofit organization. Um, we're still the grantee for the Head Start program, but we also now have the Early Head Start program, which we uh, received that grant back in the 90s. So altogether, we serve families and their children who are zero to five years old and prenatal mom in five counties of Northwest Wisconsin. So we are in the Douglas County area, Ashland, Bayfield, Iron, and Price. We are a licensed child care provider. So all of our, our Head Start centers are, are licensed by the state of Wisconsin. And we're governed by not only licensing, but also the Office of Head Start. Our parents are a huge part of our programming. 39% um, currently of our staff are or were previous parents. And our parents paved the way for the Head Start program. Um, and also we conduct community assessments so that we are making sure that we are um, providing the services that our communities need within our, um, the areas that we serve. Our mission is um, to be dedicated to preparing children and their families for success um, through high quality programming, family support and wellness education, while fostering meaningful relationships. School readiness is our main initiative, one of our main initiatives to get those kiddos ready for their next school setting when they go um, from a four-year-old to five-year-old, whether it be it's in a public school education system or if it's in a different educational system, uh, we want to make sure that our families are self-sufficient and our children are ready for the schools and the schools are ready for our children. Um, so we make sure that we have that smooth transition process and advocate for the families because um, they may not have had a um, maybe a positive experience in that public school system or school setting. So we want to make sure that we are supporting them. We have um, a, a biggest one of our biggest priorities is really connection with our staff and our staff staff wellness because if our staff aren't well. Um, then we can't provide services, quality services to those children who are unable to self-regulate. So we really are putting a lot of focus on <clears throat> ensuring that our staff have those supports, um, getting together, we're all in this together, um, making sure that we remain connected to our staff. A uh, big, um, I think a, a really big highlight of our program is that set, currently 70% of our administrative team used to be frontline staff. So I started in 2005 as a, we called them office assistants, and then I grew into my, um, my position now um, starting in 2007. There hasn't been a year that I've been with Family Forum where there hasn't been an opportunity to dabble in and to a new position or a new experience, whether it be going um, either down to a, a position be, because you just wanted um, something different or moving up into a higher position, moving lateral. We have a ton of positions as we grow. Our superior site, um, we have two of our largest centers here and our largest center, which is um, located behind the Essentia Health Hospital, um, we have all of our programming that includes extended day programming, four days a week, part day programming, four days a week. We have um, our early head start center-based program serving babies six weeks to three years old. And then our early head start home-based programming serving our um, families at their homes and the development of their children. So with that, we have a lot of positions that are needed. Um, we currently have a lot of positions open um, to include assistant teachers, 
Um, we have a 4K teacher position open. We have a cook assistant position open, a family support specialist position. Um, and of course, these are all spread out through our five counties. We have a cook position open in our Brule Head Start. Um, every single one of these positions is extremely important because we connect with those families and children all at the same level and at different times. So whether you're a bus driver and you're picking up those kiddos, you have the first contact um, with that parent. And also you're able to communicate to the teacher who's getting that ch child into the classroom, um, whether or not that child, um, you know, you can, you can um, anticipate maybe the kind of day that child's gonna have based on the experience that the, the parent or caretaker communicated. Um, let's see here. I am able to share my screen, but if I don't have time to, I'm just going to direct uh, everybody to our website, which is familyforum.org. It has pictures of our different sites there. Every single one of them, one of them is different um, from a five um, employee site to a 32 employee site. So um, every single one has a different culture, which we embrace and respect. Um, we serve families, children and families at or below the poverty guidelines. And so one um, thing that we really see it as important, and I mentioned before, is just that self-regulation and with each other and embracing the culture of safety within our program, um, rather than wondering what is wrong with this person I'm working with or what is wrong with this child I'm working with. We want our, our staff, our team to kind of switch and shift to what happened to that person and what happened to that staff person to really change our mindset. So um, we do see some kiddos um, coming in from crisis situations. Um, however, it is so rewarding to work here because we are able to support that family and see that child grow and see that family grow and be more self-sufficient. Um, our, our teams are passionate, they work together. Um, this pandemic has really thrown us a curveball and our teams have really come together and we're able to continue to provide services to our children and families seamlessly, whether we are doing home visits outside or really limiting our class sizes um, with those children coming in because we know that our parents they need to work and they don't have jobs that they can work remotely from. So we're compassionate, we're empathetic, um, we're family oriented. And um, we also love to see our staff and our parents grow in education and experiences by um, helping them achieve their professional development goals. And through that, we have a, a really strong system that um, our staff are able to utilize whether they need paid time or mileage or even just registration costs, we're able to help them with their professional development plan. So I really like to um, highlight that professional development system. So we wanna support them. Um, I think then that's really all I have to say. Wonderful. Thank you yeah. for sharing that, Natasha. I really love the kind of holistic perspective that your organization takes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm.